Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Yes, it's Pigtail Day. Because I wanted to show off things that I've made today. Just little things. Um, because I look around my room here. Oh, by the way, welcome in. If, if you're new here, this is your first time, welcome, hang out for a minute. You might see something that you like. You might think that I'm a little crazy and want to keep following that. That's always a good time too. Uh, if you've been here before, welcome back. You know what the deal is. Saturday vloggy thing is where I talk about stuff from the week and show some crochet and talk about crochet and perhaps yarn. If you saw my thumbnail, you'll know. Yarn barf incoming. Yeah. Anyhow, I was looking around and I was thinking, you know what? I have actually made a lot of stuff. I see a blanket over there that I finished. I see a pile of washcloths and scrubbies that I've done. Hair ties everywhere. Um, you know, a thing that I hang my stitch markers on is in there. So yeah, I've made stuff all over the place, even though I've only been doing this a year and I think, gosh, I haven't accomplished anything. I really have. I've done a lot. I, I use some towels in the kitchen all the time that I've crocheted. Um, so yeah, take, a, take stock and look at your accomplishments, even if you think they're a little bitty. By the way, I did not make these earrings. Nay, nay. These are little itty bitty hanks of yarn or of silk cord, but you know, yarn. <clears throat> and, um, my friend, Lisa Ladybird Loves, makes these. These are not technically earrings. No, they're stitch markers. However, they are on sterling silver lever backs, so I can wear them all day long. And I just wanted to be colorful today. This is a dress that I got at Torrid a couple years ago. It is already hot out, so yes, the shoulders are coming out. I could totally bear this down and go, Hurr. yeah, I, I got big arms and shoulders and stuff. Um, I know it's not really summertime, but summertime has hit North Georgia. Yes, we have hit the 90s already. Mm-hmm. That does not make me happy. No. 90s plus humidity makes me sweat. Most Southern women are like, I just glisten. No, honey. I sweat. Okay. Yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> what else has been going on this week? The appraiser came because we were looking to refinance the mortgage on our house. And that causes me great anxiety. I don't like people coming in. I have a lot of clutter. And yes, I'm retwisting my little curly cues there. Um, I do. I have a lot of clutter. I don't have a hoarder house. No, no. If you ever watch hoarders, please. No, that is not this. It's just clutter. We live here. We spend almost all of our time here. Um, we have one person in the household who is disabled and really has a hard time doing household chores and stuff. And then we have me who normally works about 60 plus hours a week. And I've never claimed to be Susie Homemaker. No, anybody who's known me my whole life knows, no, that ain't her. That is not her, okay? We try, but I just, I get anxiety. There's a few select people that we allow in that that know us, that, that, that also are not in super wonderful clean households. Yes. And does it stress me out? Yes. Can I fix it? Not all at once. I get very overwhelmed by taking on a task, but sometimes I will take, like I have bags of stuff that I purchase and yarn and stuff. I'll take one bag and I'll put it away. And it's like, I accomplished something. Yes. Sometimes that's what it takes. I get very overwhelmed. I have anxiety. I also deal with depression. Dude, this is a mental health positive place, which does not mean we always have to be like, oh my, my mental health is wonderful. No. This means we can talk about it here because we know that mental health is part of your whole health. It's just part of us. So feel free to vent about it, talk about it, ask about it, comment about it. It's all good. Oh, wow. I did that and I saw my bingo wings. Hello. You know, I never heard the term bingo wings until I was watching a live over at Lisa's one day with, we were playing games and somebody said bingo wings. I was like, what's a bingo wing? And they, they were like, eh. and I went, oh my gosh. Bingo wings, uh, you know, I'm amused by it. I know I'm a fat chick. It's just a descriptor. I'm a fat chick. It's okay. The word is just a descriptor. Take the yucky stuff away from the word. It's just a descriptor. Another part of mental health. It took me a long time to learn it and it's still a process. It's still a process. Anyhow, more with life. Oh, the AC in my car does not work. That is not a new thing. But it is becoming more pronounced because we hit 90 degrees yesterday. Hubby had an appointment and he was feeling so craptacular that he could not drive. 
So I was already off yesterday and I drove him to his appointment. We went to the appointment, we left and we went, got a bag to eat and came home. And by the time we got home, we were both kind of overheated. Just went being so hot. Windows are down, okay? But a 90 degree breeze is still a 90 degree breeze. Yeah, we both just came in and kind of crashed. Well, after I went out and watered my tomatoes, we came home and the tomato plants were going, eh, help me. So I went and helped them. They get plenty of water, but yeah, they don't like the heat like that either. So took care of that and came in. I worked on a little bit of like, I tried to do some crochet and stuff. And then I was like, I'm out. I laid down for a while, for a while. It ended up being like four hours. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. So today I'm going to do my best to stay in the air conditioning and do fun things and do crochet things like these crochet things. I do want to show you some uh, stuff in progress. Yeah, I don't even know if I have any completes. Oh yeah, I know I have some completes in here. First, I'm not going to forget my temperature blanket this week. I keep forgetting it because it sits in a different place because it's something that I work on every single day. So it's just kind of next to my chair. All right, this I think you've already seen. This is a uh, each row is 19 squares. And this is a three weight. I purposely did it in a smaller weight because I didn't want it to be a ginormous project. So it's 19 squares wide. I will have a border after I'm done. And it's gonna be 20 columns long. When you see the occasional square with something else in it, that's because that math does not equal out to 365. So I've got the months figured in there. Uh, that is a two, believe it or not. My numbers are awful, but I try. It's my first time ever doing this stuff. There's a three at the start of March. Um, but yeah, there we go. That is that. Now the one, the part that's in progress, of course, in addition to that, is this next row that will be 19. And you can see by the colors, we are getting hotter. So there's some light purple, some of that dark teal. And look at that. Dark purple has come out for the first time. That dark purple is over 91 degrees. That's the outside. The inside is the low, the outside is the high. Joined is white. This is all using um, Hobie Amigo yarn, which I have had zero problems with up until this point. And then yesterday I had to get, oh gosh, don't fall. I had to get into the purple, the dark purple. And I got to pull it out thinking I've got a nice center pull. No. Besides yarn bar, if yarn bar we can sort through and deal with, right? It ended up pulling out in extra weird tangles. So I have this ball. I've actually had to cut off some strips that were like, you know, two or three feet long and stuff. And I have this little ball. By the way, hair clips make great stoppers for a ball of yarn. And I have this ball. Okay. And I still have... Oh, wait, and I have this, which is not quite a ball. I'm not even kidding. This was a nightmare. Oh, and I have this one, which is, again, not quite a ball. And you can see where it's knotted up on itself. Yeah. And I have, I think this is, well, no, there's that. And then I have this. Normally, I can untangle yarn pretty well. I just kind of sit there in front of the TV and bloop, 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 and end up coming out with, you know, tangle-free yarn. This has been a nightmare, but it's the only skein. I've opened so many skeins of this yarn. I've been just fine. <sighs> but the purple is hating me, and I don't know why, because purple is my favorite color. That did not make me happy. But it just annoyed me more than anything else. Let me move this over so that I don't knock it to the floor. Put it right there. But wait, there's more. That's right, I didn't just work on my temperature project this week. Y'all, some of y'all may remember that I have got Buku Boat, or I had Buku Boatloads of this chenille yarn that I got at Dollar Tree, the Just Chenille. Super cute yarn. It's very soft. It's actually pretty easy to work with. Um, I gave away 30 skeins of it <laughs> that I donated to a giveaway at one point. So there is that. And I still have some left. When I bought that, I hadn't seen it at any Dollar Tree that I'd been in. I was there with a friend. And I went to the yarn section and I, I literally exclaimed some expletives. And they're like, well, how many do you want? 
I couldn't take all of them because there was so much there, which is rare because in most Dollar Trees, you don't see a whole lot stacked up. And I'm like, 10 of each. And this is when it was still a Dollar Tree, not a Dollar 25 tree. Okay. So I got 10 of each and I'm like, you know, I need more. Yeah. I ended up leaving there with $80 worth of yarn. I'm not even kidding. So I still have some left. Um, I have not decided which of the little stuffies that I bought to attach this to. This is a little bitty, but very, very squishy lovey. Look at this. This is two held together. And I just thought this would be super squishy for somebody because it really is. It's so soft. So I finished that one and I'm keeping all of my little loveys in this one bag. I did finish this one, which is all yellow and much lighter in weight. Still super squishy, but much lighter to go around. And I have a blue billion little stuffies to put these on. Okay. Uh, I had started another one, but I have since had a, oh gosh, there's black attached. This one's going to be pink and black alternating. See, it started, still has the hook, still jammed in there with the yarn. Uh, where's my others? I think I showed you this one. This is like one of the bunnies that I have that may not stay with this. This is not the chenille. This was some baby boucle. That was a bear to work with. Super cute, super squishy, but oh my gosh, I don't want to use this yarn ever again. And I had this one that I finished that someone had a rather rude comment to say about it because it's pink. Get a fill of your pink. You know, there you go. Woohoo. Anyway, levies done, sorted. All right, I showed you that. Let's move that. I just don't want to forget anything. I forget things. Um, something else that I'm working on that I take with me apparently to appointments now uh, is another lovey start. Let's take it off the hook. Y'all may have seen this yarn before, may have seen me use it. This is that rebound yarn that I had a skein of, and it seems to be a never ending skein. And I've done some hair scrunchies with it and given those away. And I think it's super cute. I am making a lovey with that. And I think that'll be nice and bright and colorful. Um, and it's squish, it's an interesting yarn to work with. My only problem with it is. I end up with like rough skin and my skin catches on it really badly. I basically have to have a nail file to file down my skin while I'm working with this. Yeah. But I just sit there and crochet while I'm working on it. And I had literally like three minutes to crochet on it before we got taken in for the appointment. So, I mean, good and bad, you know, but I keep that project in here. That makes it super easy for me to go. Oh yeah. We're going to an appointment. Grab this. Boom. And in here, I also keep hair ties and stuff where if I don't want to work on that I could just make another scrunchie because sometimes you just want to make a scrunchie because they're so easy to do if you've done so many of them which I have all right my goodness another one this was a request from a friend and I started working on it and then I never had time to work on it some more I started on like Wednesday um that it just became craziness this is going to be a soap sack this is Premier Just Yarn. This is not Yarn Barf. Well, it was a little Yarn Barf, but it's not Tangles. I just had to pull it out to use it. No, you know what? That's not even Yarn Barf. I worked on this a while and then frogged it all out. I didn't like the way it was going because I'm not using a pattern, of course. I mean, why would I follow a pattern? That would be too easy. Let's use Beginner Crochet Brain and come up with something, right? So, there is this. Oh, I was wondering what that was. That's the center down on the bottom because uh, it starts with a little circle. Anyhow, this will be a soap sack, lots of nice openings, and then I'll come up to the top and put a, a tie doohickey in it so you can hang it up or whatever and seal it up. But yeah, just yarn, uh, just cotton premiere, which is, I think it's an 80-20 cotton and polyester blend, which works very well for kitchen and bathroom applications. It really does. I've done it tons of times. So I'll be working on that at some point today hopefully but what else is going on what else is coming up well I've actually got a couple of tutorials coming up they are uh, as film people say which I don't know why they're in the can anyway they're recorded they're uploaded they're scheduled that will be on the next two Fridays there will be tutorials well there'll be more if I can you know get off my butt and do them but when you see the way that I have to record tutorials 
oh my gosh, it is so awkward. It really is. I was standing up, okay, and I had my arms around a tripod, and I'm trying to crochet with my arms kind of down like this, like down. Now, normally when I crochet, my arms stay at my side, like, poof, you know, and my, my hands are very close to my body, and that's how I normally crochet. But having to do all this, it ain't pretty, but I got it done, okay? One is just a stitch tutorial, because mine are totally crochet from the beginning. I have a playlist. I do. Ta-da! It might be up there somewhere if I remember. I also have some individual little things coming up will be the way that I make and join my temperature blanket squares. Why I pointed at my temperature blanket, I don't know, because you can't see where it is. It's over there. It's right over there. I have that coming up. There will also be time for tea. Always take time for tea. This week, we're going to try our best to not make it lives. Last week, I had three lives in a row. Are you really? Did you see that? Me? Yeah, I ran out of time, ran out of time and energy on the weekend to record my videos. And I just, <clears throat> okay, I have an hour for lunch. Boom, let's do this. A 30 minute live. Not only did I, did I do it for the tea, I also did it for snacks around the world, and I also did it for hot taste. I'm not doing that again. No. I'm going to try to get everything sorted and recorded so that I don't have to stress out during the week about because I forgot that was part of my stressful week. There's always something stressful during the week. Yeah. Also had a meeting with my boss <clears throat> about, you know, what my first week, my first official week as team lead is going to be. Y'all, it's all stuff I've been doing anyway. Yeah. And she knew that. And she laughed. She's like, I know. But <laughs> starting Sunday, technically Sunday, because that's the beginning of our work week. You know, even if I'm not working Sunday, I get a pay bump. Whoop, whoop. Yes, that makes me happy. Yes, I'm going to do stupid whoop, whoop things. It might mean I get to work a little bit less overtime. That's actually what my boss is hoping. That... I don't have to work as much overtime. We'll see because it all depends on me also getting the work done because there's a lot on my plate. It's a, it's a really huge plate. I mean, it, but yeah. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking behind me to see if there's anything I've forgotten because I put stuff back here and then, you know, totally forget. Oh, yes. I got a frog here. Hang on. Whoa. Evicted the frog, sort of, and we'll keep on. My birthday week is coming up. June 15th is my birthday. So it's that week. There will be giveaways. I don't know if I'll be doing, I'll probably do some live, but a lot I'll pre-record. Um, there's giveaways for pretty much every theme. There's going to be a hot sauce giveaway for hot taste. Mm -hmm. There are going to be a lot of yarny type things. There's even going to be a diamond painting thing. Just crafty stuff, some paper craft stuff. I know I've never done paper crafts on the channel, but... We're all interested in all kinds of crafts, right? So lots of little giveaways. And I hope that you'll join me for those. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell a friend. Bring them along. Make sure that they're subscribed too. Because you got to be subscribed in order to win. That That is a... My giveaways are thank yous for my subscribers. My youtube -y friends. My Yarny friends. Not just Yarny. My Yarny and Peppery and Gardeny and stuff friends. There will be garden stuff for giveaway too. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but you got to be subscribed. I know there are people out there who are like, well, you shouldn't make people have to be subscribed to win your giveaways or show that they're public. Well, the only way that we can see that you're subscribed is if they're public. If they're not public, we don't know that you're subscribed. You could be subscribed for like 18 million years, but we don't know that. Okay. And <clears throat> it is each YouTuber's prerogative to quote, demand that you're subscribed or not. My giveaways are celebrations for my subscribers and for me. I'm celebrating too because I love giving stuff away. It's fun. That anticipation, the drawing of the names and everything, it is fun. But yeah, I do expect people to subscribe to do that. I love when people comment, even when it's not a giveaway. So leave me a comment down below. What do you think about people demanding that you be subscribed? And most of you are. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when I look, because, you know, we look, there, there are analytic things that we can look at in the background. Anybody who's a YouTube creator is familiar with that. 
and you can I can see that most everybody that's watching my content is subscribed I'm one of the lucky ones people are like yeah I'll subscribe to her all right let's get it out of the way <laughs> am I that demanding y'all <laughs> Well, I hope I'm not that demanding, but I do hope that you have a good time here and I hope that you stick around and enjoy the madness. Yeah. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, I'd really love it also if you hit that like button on your way in, on your way out, however you do it. And I will hopefully see you very, very soon. Bye y'all. Hello, Oscar. Now you're not going to talk to Mama because I got the camera running? Hmm? Hey. You were talking up a storm a minute ago. Put your finger out there. He will pet himself. Mm-hmm. Are there any birdies out there? Oscar. Hey, pretty boy. Well, he's not going to say anything today, but you got to see him being pretty. <laughs>